Hello everybody. This is Miss Nancy from the Clearview Library District and I am here to do story time and a craft with you. Okay, remember that story time and a craft is every Tuesday at 10 o'clock and um, you can watch it anytime after the posting time on that Tuesday. You can pick up a make and take kit anytime the week before um, so that you will have the craft to do with me. If you do not get a kit, you probably have the items at home. If you have any questions, always feel free to contact me about that. Also wanted to give you a little heads up that in May, we will be doing our story time and a craft on Thursdays. And we are doing that because we are starting an in-person outdoor story time in Severance outside the town hall. So look at our calendar and review those things so that you can attend if you would like and so that you log in with us on Thursdays instead of Tuesdays or any time after that Thursday. Okay? Okay, well, we're going to have fun today. Let's get started with our hello song. Okay? Let's review our signs. We have more, and we have to gather, and then happier, and then your, and my, and then friends is our last one. One friend, two friends, they give each other a hug. Okay, <clears throat> are you ready? Okay, the more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Should we do it one more time? Let's do it. Okay. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Very good, guys. Okay, well, we have a fun book to read today. And our book is called Rock a By Romp. And it's by Linda Ashman. Now, if you notice this, Caregivers, this is really a cool thing to know about because this book is a Clell Bell winner. And it was a Clell Bell winner several years ago when I was on the committee, actually. Um, and the Clell Bells are Colorado Libraries for Early Literacy. And so they pick a book every year for read, write, sing, talk, and play. And these are excellent books to find at your library. So if you're interested in getting some of the Clell Bells to read aloud to your kids, um, just Google Clell Bell Award, and you can access the, yes, the, the lists from years and years ago, and they're excellent, excellent books to read out loud, okay? This is one of my favorite books for a read aloud, and one of the things that I really like about this book is that I actually sing the whole book. So adults in the group, um, singing to your children, remember, it helps them um, start listening to different sounds in words and consonants because of the beats. So, um, so those sounds in the words are heard better by our children when they hear them singing. So don't hesitate to sing to your children. I did not say you had to sing well. I just said sing and have fun. Okay? Rock a by rock. Rock a by Romp by Linda Ashman. <clears throat> Rock a by baby in the treetop. How did you ever get so high up? Evening is near now. Hear the wind blow, branches are waving. 
leaving. Where did baby go? Where did the baby go? Hmm. Baby has fallen into a nest. Cozy and snug now starting to rest. Mama bird frets. That bird is too big. She nudges the baby. What's going to happen with the baby? Who lands on a pig? What do you think the pig said when that baby landed on it? Piggy is startled, runs in alarm. Baby rides bareback all through the farm. Piggy sees piles of food in his trough, suddenly stops. What happens? And baby flies off. Rolls down a hillside into a sheep. Woolly and soft, a warm place to sleep. Sheep says, Bah, baby, I'm not your bed. Baby starts crawling. Where's baby going? Into a shed. What does the baby see in the shed? Baby sees. Baby, whoops, let me start over, okay? <laughs> baby has tumbled into the hay. Spies a long tail. And here's a loud neigh. Baby looks up, sees something immense. Crawls back outside. Where's it gonna go? And under a fence. Baby is laughing, chasing a duck. Down through a meadow, into the muck. Down by a stream, the babe sees a boat, scrambles inside. What's going to happen if the baby's in the boat? Oh, no. Now baby's afloat, drifting past cattails in between rocks. Baby is sailing far from the docks. Night owls are hooting, whippoorwills call. Baby keeps drifting. Where's the baby going to go? Over a fall. Moon looks at baby, sailing alone, calls on a hawk to bring baby home. Over the rivers, over the farms, baby flies home. And into my arms. Sweet little baby, rocking with me. Who'd put a cradle high in a tree? Babies in trees are fine in a song but you little one are right where you belong and that was rock -a by rock some bedtime silliness 
Now, since we read a book about a baby on a farm, we're going to do a farm rhyme together, okay? And this is to the tune of The Farmer in the Dell. Okay, so think about that tune. And then here we go. The pigs say oink oink. The pigs say oink oink. Hi ho the dairy o. Oh, the pigs say oink oink. The sheep say ba ba. The sheep say ba ba. Hi ho the dairy o. Oh, the sheep say ba ba. The horse says nay nay. The horse says nay nay. Hi ho the dairy o. Oh, the horse says nay nay. The ducks say quack quack. The ducks say quack quack. Hi ho the dairy o. Oh, the ducks say quack quack. Shall we do it one more time so you can remember it? That would be good. Okay. The pigs say oink oink. The pigs say oink oink. Hi ho the dairy o. Oh, the pigs say oink oink. The sheep says ba ba. The sheep says ba ba. Hi ho the dairy o. Oh, the sheep says ba ba. The horse says nay nay. The horse says nay nay. Hi ho the dairy o. Oh, the horse says nay nay. The ducks say quack quack. The ducks say quack quack. Hi ho the dairy o. Oh, the ducks say quack quack. Okay, very good. Well, we're going to do our goodbye song, but remember that we're not really saying goodbye. We are going to do our craft as soon as we're done with the story time portion. But let's do that song because we like that song and it's fun. Okay, are you ready? Okay. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as slow as we can. Good bye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as fast as we can. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as high as we can. Goodbye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as low as we can. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as quiet as we can. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as loud as we can. Goodbye. Bye, guys. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as nice as we can. Goodbye, everybody. It was nice seeing you today. Let's do a craft and have some fun, okay? Okay, so before we get started, I'm going to show you something that you need to have today. You need either a pink marker, a pink colored pencil, or a pink crayon. And any one of those things would be okay. The only thing I had at home was a pink colored pencil, so that's what I used. Now, in, well, let's, let's go on. Okay, so you have your kit. Okay, let's look at what's inside it. Hmm. We have a snap a pic handout, and that's asking you adults in the house to take a picture of your kids during the story time 
or to take pictures of your kids doing the crafts and send them to me, Nancy, at clearviewlibrary.org. Or you can post them on social media yourself and tag us. But we love to have pictures of your children to put on social media to show other families the kind of fun things we do. So if you think about it, snap a pic and save it and share it with us so that we can share it on social media. Okay? Okay, what else is in our kit? Hmm, this is a kind of strange kit. Yes, we have a big baggie. Okay, you can put that down. Hmm, we have a pig. Now, I have already colored my pig pink because I didn't want you to have to sit here and watch me color. So my pig is already pink, okay? Let's see. Hmm, we have a baggie, and this baggie is full of shaving cream. Now, adults in the house, we really don't know how long shaving cream lasts in a bag. And since I make the kits up a week ahead, I don't know what your shaving cream looks like by now. If it's kind of flat, it will still work well. If you have a can of shaving cream at your house that is nice and fresh, you might want to go grab it because really fresh shaving cream will probably work better. But I think your little baggie of it will be okay. Now, kids, do not open this yet. Okay, it's really messy. Okay, now what else is in here? Oh, brown paint. Hmm. Okay, fine. And a piece of blue paper. I'm just going to kind of roll it the other way so it will not lay nice and flat. Okay, I'm going to put the blue paper down. And I'm going to open up the Ziploc. Now, kids, if the adults in your house want to help you a little bit with this one, that's a good thing. Because this one could be messy, except that we have a bag. And so we're going to keep all of our mess inside the bag. So now we're going to open it so that the pig is near the back of the bag. Now, this is the fun part. And we're going to open up the brown paint. Now, be careful. Don't drop that lid on the carpet or anything. And we're going to pour the brown paint into the bag, okay? And then set this aside. Again, don't drop it on the carpet. Okay, what do we have? We have a messy pig, don't we? Now, get your shaving cream and open it up carefully, okay? Now, we're gonna turn that upside down and we're gonna squeeze the shaving cream in with the pig and the paint and you can get as much as you want there that's probably enough set this messy thing aside too now what do you think we should do now that's right we're going to try to get some of the air out but it doesn't matter too much but the most important part is we're going to zip it closed and kids have the adults at your house check that bag and make sure it truly is zipped okay now what do we have we have a mess. Are pigs messy? Yes. We are making a muddy pig, okay? So we have a pink pig, and we have brown paint, and we have shaving cream, okay? Now, what we're going to do now is we're just going to start squishing it around. And just squish those things together. Doesn't that feel strange? Shaving cream is so much fun for kids. You put it down and squish it around. Shaving cream can be used for a lot of different things, but it's really fun for sensory play. So really young kids, um, you can just give them a pan of shaving cream and maybe plop a few toys in it and let them just squish around in it. Um, it mixes with glue and paint to make a really neat puffy paint. Um, you can use it in um, making silly putty or slime. So remember shaving cream, that's really brilliant. Okay, so do you have a mess yet? I have a mess. Now, this is a time when it is probably a good idea to ask the adult in your house to help you. We're gonna open it up. Huh, I have a messy pig. And we're gonna take the pig out of the mud. 
Come on, pig. Look at my pig. And then I'm going to lay my pig down on the top of the bag and stretch out my pig's legs because they kind of got folded. Yeah. And the other leg is folded too. Now I'll show you in just a minute what my pig looks like once I get him moved around. Now, my pig, here we go. You can see him. Does he look like a muddy mess? Yes, he definitely does. And he's got a lot of shaving cream and stuff on him. And I think it might be fun to just play with my fingers just a little bit. And because I'd like to see his face, I'm going to scrape a little bit of the stuff off his face. Oh, that looks cool. I'll show you in just a second. And then you know what we're going to do? We're just going to let our little pig dry. Now, this is what my pig looks like. Okay. Is it a mess? Yes, it is. Okay. Now, I'm going to set this pig on the baggie somewhere, and I'm going to go wash my hands. And that's what I want you to do, too. And I don't want you to touch anything on the way to the sink, okay? Because you might have a lot of this on you. Okay. Now, adults in the house, let those pigs dry for a long time. And if you want to, after they've sat for a few minutes, you could actually pick the pig up off the baggie and lay it on a piece of paper towel or a piece of newspaper. And that might help it dry a little quicker than it will dry sitting on the bag. Okay? When it's all done, you can glue it onto the blue paper if you want to. And then you have a muddy pig picture. Try saying that again. A muddy pig picture um, that you can hang up. Okay? Okay, so I'm going to say goodbye to you guys, and I'd like you to go wash your hands and have fun, and stay safe and stay healthy, and I will see you in another week, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs>